Laverne Cox is an American actress and LGBT advocate. She rose to prominence with her role as Sophia Bursett on the Netflix series Orange is the New Black. Born May 29, 1972, age 52 years, Mobile, Alabama, United States. Height, 1.8 meters. Parents, Gloria Cox. Siblings, M. Lamar. Education, Fashion Institute of Technology, Indiana University Bloomington, Marymount Manhattan College. Laverne Cox net worth $6 million. Early life. Cox was born in Mobile, Alabama, and was raised by a single mother and grandmother within the AME Zion Church. She has an identical twin brother, M. Lamar, who portrayed the pre-transitioning Sophia, as Marcus, in Orange is the New Black. Cox has stated that she attempted suicide at the age of 11, when she noticed that she had developed feelings for her male classmates and had been bullied for several years for not acting the way someone assigned male at birth was supposed to act. She is a graduate of the Alabama School of Fine Arts in Birmingham, Alabama, where she studied creative writing before switching to dance. She then studied for two years at Indiana University Bloomington before transferring to Marymount Manhattan College in New York City, where she switched from dancing, specifically classical ballet, to acting. She also studied as a fashion merchandising management major at the Fashion Institute of Technology. During her first season on Orange is the New Black, she was still appearing at a restaurant on the Lower East Side as a drag queen, where she had applied initially to work as a waitress. Career Cox appeared as a contestant on the first season of I Want to Work for Diddy, afterwards she was approached by VH1 about show ideas. From that came the makeover television series Transform Me, which made Cox the first African-American transgender person to produce and star in her own TV show. Both those shows were nominated for a Glad Media Award for Outstanding Reality Program, and when Diddy won in 2009, Cox accepted the award at the ceremony, giving a speech described by the San Francisco Sentinel as among the most poignant because reminded us how important it is to tell our stories, all of our stories. She has also acted in a number of TV shows and films, including Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, Bored to Death, and Musical Chairs. In 2013, Cox began her recurring role in the Netflix series Orange is the New Black as Sophia Bursett, a trans woman sent to prison for credit card fraud. In that year, she stated, Sophia is written as a multidimensional character who the audience can really empathize with, all of the sudden they're empathizing with a real trans person. And for trans folks out there, who need to see representations of people who are like them and of their experiences, that's when it becomes really important. Cox's role in Orange is the New Black provides her a platform to speak on the rights of trans people. In January 2014, Cox joined trans woman Carmen Carrera on Katie Couric's syndicated show, Katie. Couric referred to transgender people as transgenders, and after being rebuffed by Carrera on the subject of her surgeries, specifically what genital reconstruction she had done, turned the same question to Cox. Cox responded, I do feel there is a preoccupation with that. The preoccupation with transition and surgery objectifies trans people. And then we don't get to really deal with the real lived experiences. The reality of trans people's lives is that so often we are targets of violence. We experience discrimination disproportionately to the rest of the community. Our unemployment rate is twice the national average. If you are a trans person of color, that rate is four times the national average. The homicide rate is highest among trans women. If we focus on transition, we don't actually get to talk about those things.